let's solve one important problem in this lasi dielectric a lasi dielectric is characterized by epsilon r is equal to 2.5 mu r is equal to 4 and sigma is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 siemens per meter at a frequency 10 megahertz find the attenuation constant phase shift constant velocity of propagation wavelength and intrinsic impedance so this problem is very important one okay for the given lasi dielectric medium we are going to find out all the parameters so in the solution part first we have to write the given data the relative permittivity of the lasi dielectric is 2.5 so epsilon r is equal to 2.5 mu r is equal to 4 sigma is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 siemens per meter frequency is equal to 10 megahertz that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 6 hertz okay so now we are going to find out the propagation constant that is gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta that is equal to square root of j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon so this is the important formula to find out the propagation constant for a lasi dielectric so here this omega is nothing but 2 pi f mu is mu naught into mu r omega here 2 pi f epsilon is epsilon naught into epsilon r then we can substitute all the values here j into 2 pi f value is 10 megahertz that means 10 into 10 to the power 6 mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r value is 4 into the sigma value is 10 to the power minus 3 plus j into 2 pi f is 10 into 10 to the power 6 epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r value is 2.5 then we can simply multiply all the terms here to get the value as j 315.827 multiplied with 10 to the power minus 3 plus j we can multiply all these values together to get the answer as 1390 into 10 to the power minus 6. Then we have to multiply this term inside this bracket. Okay. Then the gamma value is equal to square root of j 0 0.3158. Here it is plus j squared 0 0.3158. 4393. So here this j squared is equal to what? Minus 1. Then this term becomes real. We can write this as a first term. So minus 0 0.4393 plus j 0 0.3158. So for further simplification, we have to convert this rectangular form to polar form. So for that, you can select the mode in a calculator as a complex so for that you can select two okay then you have to simply type this value that is minus 0 0.4393 plus j 0 0.3158 then you have to press shift and then plus sign okay you can convert rectangular to polar and then press equal do you all understand the procedure then we can get the gamma value is equal to square root of 0 0.54 with angle 144 degree. Okay. Then we can take the square root value. We can get 0 0.7348. Then the angle is divided by 2. To get the square root value, we can get 72 degree. So here we are going to find out the alpha value and beta value. Okay. Then this polar form is converted into a rectangular form then we can get gamma is equal to 0 0.223 plus j 0 0.7 meter power minus 1 so this term is nothing but alpha this term is beta do you all understand this one as we discussed from this gamma we can find out alpha and beta so alpha attenuation constant is equal to the real term of gamma 0 0.223 nepper per meter the beta value that is phase constant is equal to imaginary part of the gamma value 
that is 0.7 radian per meter. So next we are going to find out the velocity of propagation. So V is equal to omega by beta. So omega is nothing but 2 pi f. Simply substitute the value of f that is 10 mega hertz. Okay. Beta value is what? 0.7. Then we can get the answer 89.76 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Then the wavelength is equal to 2 pi by beta. So here beta is 0.7. Then the wavelength is equal to 8.975 meter. So the next parameter is very very important one. That is what? Intrinsic impedance. Okay. So intrinsic impedance of the Lassie material. So this parameter is very important one to analyze the media. So eta is equal to what? Square root of j omega mu by sigma plus j omega epsilon. It can also be written as j omega as 2 pi f mu as mu naught into mu r sigma plus j omega as 2 pi f epsilon as epsilon naught epsilon r. Then we can substitute all the values here 2 pi f values 10 into 10 to the power 6 mu naught as 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r as 4. So similarly here in the denominator sigma value is 10 to the power minus 3 plus j into 2 pi f value is 10 into 10 to the power 6 epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and then epsilon r value is 2.5 okay then we can multiply all the terms here we can get j 315.827 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 plus j we can multiply all the terms together we can get 1390.7830 into 10 to the power minus 6 so here we are having the division in complex term so for that we have to convert this rectangular form to polar form so here we can get 315.827 with an angle 90 degree in the denominator its value is 1.713 into 10 to the power minus 3 with an angle 54.28 so in this one we can straight away divide the numerator and denominator we can get the value as 1843.70.695 for this angle, we can simply subtract the denominator from the numerator angle. So we can get angle 35.72 degree. Then we can take the square root value. So the square root of this magnitude 1843.70.695 is 429.39. So this is the square root of the magnitude. And for this angle, we can simply divide this value by 2. We can get the answer as angle as 17.86 degree. So this is the intrinsic impedance. It can be represented with the term omega. Okay, its unit is omega. Do you all understand this concept?